Uh, welcome viewers, uh, my name is Banana Peddler and it's a great day. Today I'm joined by Professor, distinguished Professor Herman Manyora. Welcome Prof. Thank you. Uh, professor here got an accident, uh, a little accident, but we thank God he's getting better. That is why he has been missing for a while. On my left here is uh, Steve Jr. Steve Jr. is a political analyst and also a student at the University of Nairobi. Isn't true? Yeah. Welcome to the show. Now, Prof, today I want uh, to talk about uh, this issue, this handshake issue. This handshake issue seems to have uh, some people to have rendered some people irrelevant. And uh, you find out that the other day, Kalonzo Musioka was also appointed an envoy. Raila was appointed envoy. Kalonzo is, uh, Kalonzo is now also an envoy. Almost now, being appointed, he has been appointed. Almost. Okay, he is almost to yes. be, but, but since it has been said, yeah, he will get. He, he will get. <laughs> yes, yes, it yes. will happen. Now, what I'm wondering is this: What was the purpose of this handshake? Because it seems like the rate at which people are becoming envoys mm. uh, is is really alarming. Is, is is it a way for President Kenyatta to retire, uh, Right Honourable Raila Amolo Odinga, given that age has caught up with him? Uh, one. Two cannot be alarming. <laughs> when you are met two people on board, in fact one, the other one is still... <laughs> that cannot be alarming. It is not even a trend. So let's just say two people. One has been made a special envoy, another one is on the way, if we, our reading is correct. That's not alarming. Uh, two, <laughs> I don't think Uhuru has the power to retire anybody. Uh, I don't think a small job like what Raila got could retire Raila. I think Raila is bigger than that job. So, and I don't think uh, that is the understanding between Uhuru and Raila. I don't think that's the understanding that uh, Uhuru will play games on Raila so that Raila can retire. That, but, that, but, that, that but won't this be job, the game. This job, I saw other people complaining in yeah. Western yesterday, yes. saying that uh, what kind of job is this? That it, it has more than 10 offices. The, a job that has an office in Nairobi, an office in South Africa, yes. an office in uh, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Prof. Those are people anybody. who don't wish Raila well. A special envoy in charge of infrastructure and by the way many other things including tourism, ICT and so on and so forth. Things intended to lead, to link Africa. Uh, cannot be done from one office. It is more of diplomatic achievement through diplomacy, through, in, through talking to donors, uh, funding agencies, through roping in and uh, uh, selling buy-ins to African countries to buy into an idea of a network. If, for example, let's take a good example, the, 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 the link between Uganda and Kenya. Mm -hmm. We take SGR to, to Malaba. Uganda has to take it for it to be beneficial to East Africa. Yes. So they need someone to talk to them. Mm -hmm. So that's the kind of job Raila will be doing. And you can't do it from Nairobi or Addis Ababa. You'll move all over, not just even Africa. You'll go to Geneva, you'll go to New York, you'll go to Tokyo. So really, it's not a normal ministry where you operate from Arambe House or from she, whatever it is, someone's government offices. So, but people should not read a lot of malice in but, It's but, a but, simple thing. But others are saying that it's a way of keeping him out of politics because he's bigger than that, that, that job that he has been given. Steve, yes. what is your take on uh, uh, this is this job that uh, Raila has been given? Because I'm, I'm, I'm also among those Kenyans that think uh, he should retire. I think uh, there is one wrong perception that people are creating. That uh, for Raila to get that seat, maybe special envoy, is now headed to retirement. I think what Prof has said, there is nothing like Uhuru having any power to retire Raila. Raila will still be on the ballot, maybe, if he wants. No, he said he will no longer be interested in 2022 politics. That, that is, is a, what he said. That is a political language. Maybe he was coerced to say that. When you want to kill an enemy, you don't show off your eyes. So if Raila today says he wants to join the 2022 race, then a lot of hit-ups will come up. Ah, yeah, so that's he's, wonderful. He's, he's just, he's just, uh, so he's hiding. Yeah. He's you can hiding imagine what hiding. would happen if Raila today stood and said, I'm on the ballot 2022. The country will be on fire. Yeah, it will be so on fire. It will be fire all of the junior is right. Yeah. yeah, and also this uh, politics of Mamba. Yes. When Raila said, 
when Raila says that Tulianda to go pata mamba, but DP says that these mambas are nowhere in the Bible. Who do you think are these mambas, Prof? Who you are a mamba ni kina nani? Mamba, mamba ni binadamu. Mamba ni binadamu who made it difficult for Raila, as he thinks, to take his prize after winning. So if the Supreme Court indeed did agree with Raila that the election was in a free and fair manner, yes. the person who won in that could win, fair and square, then uh, there must have been members who caused that to happen. But the same members have, have, have brought him close now. Yes. Maybe to eat him? You think they'll eat yes. him? Yes! <laughs> because <laughs> was... now he's a uh, <laughs> But members are also eaten by other animals. I like to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I don't think so. <laughs> but before you go on, yes. who tells you Raila is too old? Is, uh, do you need a little lesson on age? No, but that man... Because if Raila says he will From be on, this time, when, you, when, you stop, when you stop this show, go and Google. All the president and leaders I know. in history, and I even know all of now. Them. So, Starting from Mandela, yeah. uh, uh, we can see what the, the miracles that Trump is doing in America. Yeah. And I'm he will sure, stand in 2020. I'm sure maybe Raila will do worse than, uh, than Trump. Who where, knows? Where worse means? Yeah? That is, does that mean Trump is doing bad things? Yeah, to, uh, Trump. That's people, according to you. There are, many people, there are many people who are in love with Trump, who think he's doing the right thing. I support Trump. I, mean, I, support you support Trump. Trump. I support Trump because that is why you support Raila. I su no, 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 no. <laughs> that, those are two different people. Raila doesn't even support Trump. I think I support Trump because he says America first. Why can't we say Africa first? So racism is among the not America first. There's no racism. When we say Kenyan, look here, look at this country. Foreigners have a field day in this country. Is that what you want? The best things in this country are reserved for foreigners. I don't want that situation. So, so I will be called a racist. Look at what the Chinese are doing in this country. I don't support it. So, so Trump is right in. He's uh, right to say Americans reporting. first. Americans must come first. No, 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 Prof. Trump has been but, elected American president but, to ensure no, that America but Prof, comes first. This is the That's same right, man period. who said yesterday yes. he wants to change the law mm. so that any child who is born within the in the, in the American soil yes. does not become an American automatically look as here. it is now. Look here, my friend, and I think. You will agree with me. Yes, maybe it depends. I want you to agree with me, mm -hmm. and I might force you to agree with, with me. Yes, that nobody should mess their countries, then go and force themselves into other people's countries. God has given us this country called Kenya. Let's make the best out of this country, so that when you, I, I when you live here. When Juni has done his first degree, whatever, when he goes to America, he's going there as a student to get information, exchange with Americans, and come back to Kenya. Not going to be a burden to Junior, Americans. Yes. <clears throat> I think I'm, an, I'm in agreement with Prof. One thing I also support Trump. I'm, I'm you sorry, support Trump? Yeah, I support Trump. I'm only the, 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 the only yeah, anti-Trump. On, 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 that, on that basis that he wants America first. Because if you have your country at heart, then it means you have you feel like it must develop first, then other things will fall. Why should he put a lot of pressure, maybe, or interest to other countries which are not benefit, beneficial to his country? The case that uh, Professor said uh, about China, China is messing up this country. If you see what is doing in uh, Africa, you will just wonder. Recently, they just took uh, a port in Zambia. Yes. Because of the debts. The same equally can apply to Kenya, because we are, we are in, a, in a borrowing spree. Which is very wrong. Anyway, we, we, okay, it's okay. I, I, I get you guys. Although we were not talking about Trump, yes, yes, we were yes. talking about the old man. The old man, Raila. Who, no, in, my opinion, who yes. in my opinion, yes. should retire. Because you see, bro, this man has stood four times, a record four times. He has become a professional presidential candidate. I will also... Who knows that after 2022, even in 2027, the man will be on the ballot again, I will, I will even in 2032. I, I will invite you to read the Bible. And the one Elijah prayed for rain to prove that his God was the living God, the true God. The true God. Yeah. He prayed once, twice. He sent his servant to go and check outside, nothing. 
is seven times for there to be a drop of rain and he proved his God was a living God. Is that really re relevant? One of the greatest <laughs> of presidents of all times, yes. Abraham Lincoln, uh -huh. stood for things more than seven times before he became president of the United including parliamentary laws. Now somebody in there have been people. Even were, in West Africa. Yeah, so really it's, it's common. It's common. <coughs> I, think, I think it's not an issue of how many times somebody may be fired. Mm -hmm. It's an issue of time. His time will come. Maybe, as we have said, that the members have been confiscating his victory. Maybe things will change. We believe in possibility. So but you won on his third time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure at one point you know Rayla won. Eh? At one point. You are very sure Rayla won. Uh, 2007. Like the case of 2007. You agree with that? They say so. They say so. If you have already agreed, then it means... Why, why did he let it go? Uh, why did he let it go? Anyway, <laughs> I, wa I want us to talk about uh, pre the president. Yeah. In 2013, President Uhuru Kenyatta <coughs> used to say that uh, during campaigns, yes. he used to say, Mime munipatia yangu kumi, alafu William mwachukwe yake kumi, alafu mwingina yandele. Yes. And then the other day, the president was saying, kila mtu wabebe mzigo wake. Now you wonder, Prof. Is it that the people of, uh, from Mount Kenya are insincere, they are not genuine, or uh, it is just politics? This is politics and it's not about people in Mount Kenya. This is Uhuru Moigai Kenyatta. It is possible he was just talking politics. When you want something, like when you want a girl, you tell a whole manner of things. He could have been seducing the calendar to vote for him. The same way they've yes. taken uh, Raila now. Yeah, but secondly, yes. he could have been genuine then, but politics dynamics. And things have since happened that make him change that his mind. So you see, this is possible. Again, like you say, maybe it is the DNA of the of the Gamma people never yeah. to vote for somebody else. It, all this because is, they have, they all have this done that before. These are possible. Anything is possible. Steve. Yes. What is your take? <coughs> what do you think? Uh, is uh, President Uru sincere? Because even Kibaki did the same. But it's only that Kibaki kept quiet. Kibaki did not speak. Yeah. Kibaki had promised to support Raila. But when the time came, Kibaki kept quiet. He kept mum. Now, the people of Mount Kenya were purportedly controlling him, telling him that he's irrelevant, he should keep quiet. Is it that the people of Mount Kenya are, uh, are not genuine, or it is just uh, politics, maybe as Prof put it? Uh, one, thing, one thing I know is that um, President Uhuru Kenyatta has got an obligation to give his opinion. And let his opinion not be misunderstood. That if President Uhuru Kenyatta speaks, then that is Mount Kenya speaking. That's a wrong notion. Why was it like that before, during the campaigns? Now things have changed. No, that is a campaign strategy. When you are in campaign, you have to coerce people. And when you coerce, you have to use strategies. That is one of the strategies that Uhuru wanted maybe for the Kalenjins to vote him. He's now voted in. Maybe, as Prof has said, there are dynamics that happen in politics. But so if, if he has realized maybe that uh, Ruta is not the right person, anyway, let's wait, because you never know. It, we are in 2018. Maybe it can be that Ruto still. Yeah, we are in 2018. And unless you say that. But, not unless uh, I say that. <laughs> maybe that is what you want me to say. But what I no, know, no, no, I don't want you to say that. What I know, we are in 2018. <laughs> We're in 2018, <laughs> and we'll go to election in 2020. Who tells you that Ruto will not uh, be supported by who? It's okay. Who knows? It's okay, but Prof, I remember the president said that uh, he told the people of Mount Kenya, the politicians, that his choice of person, maybe of president, will shock them. In your opinion, who do you think this choice is? Who, who is this person? Because it cannot be Raila. Because we know Raila will be on the ballot. Yes. It cannot be Ruto. Uh, in my opinion, I think it can be Peter Kenneth, although I stand corrected. In your opinion, who do you think this person is? Uh, it doesn't have to be my opinion. I think I hold the view. And reading, you know, I listened to Raila Odinga reading the speech on the 9th of March after the handshake, during the handshake. Yes. And I read it, that speech. I read it 10 times. One, two, until 10 times. Yes. And I concluded. What these two gentlemen set out to do, which is to reverse 
anything and everything that has been negative about our politics from 1963. For that to happen, and many Kenyans have told this on TVs, many people have said, I'm wrong. Let me, maybe I'm wrong. That you can only cure this, this problem in this country if you address two communities. Mm -hmm. One community has a sense of entitlement, which they live. Yes. The, the people of Central think this country is theirs by right. Yes. And uh, leadership is naturally theirs. Mm -hmm. It's a sense of entitlement. The Luos play victim. Yes. They think they have been persecuted like the Jews. Mm -hmm. So to, if Uhuru and Raila set out, like they have said in that handshake deal, yes. to address all that has ailed us as a country from independence, then there is only one thing on the table. Just one mm -hmm. to appease the people who have been persecuted, who feel they have been persecuted. If you make Raila president in 2022, yes, all these problems will get. They will end, and they will nobody will ever look back. So, if Raila becomes president, we will never have this problem. Kusha, right? kusha, kusha. Not of the same nature. Let me give you a good example. Yes. Maybe you are too young. Maybe you are. Uh, Old enough to know. Yeah. What do you think would have happened if Kibaki had not betray, betrayed Raila, uh -huh. had not betrayed the spirit of the MOU in 2002? What would have happened to this country if Kibaki had worked with Raila the way Kenyans had wanted and handed power to Raila? Something so, called tribal zim, would have died completely. We will be living in a different country. But you are supporting when you But you are supporting when Hiroto is being betrayed. Is no, no, that no, 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 I'm saying... What is the difference I between... I am saying... Yes. Kibaki betrayed the MOU and the spirit and the mood of the country. I don't think the spirit and the mood of the country today the is same, that Ruto be president. The same way it is likely to happen no, no, no. Ruto. It could be, Ruto. The betrayal could be between a, a man betraying another man. Uhuru betraying Ruto. <laughs> but Kibaki not only betrayed Raila, he betrayed a spirit. <laughs> Prof, you put, you put it in a very clever way. <laughs> What's your, do you have anything to add on that? Uh, I think what I'll say is that uh, the issue of the spirit, yes, Prof is saying, is right. Because this tendency started from two centuries ago. And now people are feeling this country is theirs. That is why you are they, they want one of their own at yeah. the helm of Yeah, of that is why you saw recently the members of parliament from central province uh, went for a, a retreat. A retreat yeah. What was their sense? They are just feeling, you know, maybe if Ruto takes power in 2022, we are nowhere in the matrix. If Raira takes power in 2022, the same case will happen. So where are we? They went back to the drawing board. What is the reason? They but still feel that they must be in, in leadership. If they are not in leadership, then we are in a different country. Yes, and uh, in that case, I also want us to talk as we end up. I want us to talk about. Uh, I want. I I want your honest opinion, Prof. Uh, on this, uh, people say. People say not me. People say that there are uh, political vultures. There are political opportunists. Yes. That is around Raila Odinga, yes. especially mm -hmm. the ones from uh, uh, Nyanza, yes, yes, yes. Luo Nyanza. They say that uh, these people are only, you saw, like Raila said the other day, like I said, that he will no longer interfere in, uh, with the politics of 2022. Yeah, yeah. But they have been quoted, like yesterday, Babu Owino in Western said that Raila Odinga will be on the ballot. But Raila has refused. Now. I want to ask you a question, Prof. Supposedly, supposed that uh, maybe uh, Raila Odinga is not in the ballot, is not in the picture completely. Yes, yes, yes. These people that people say are political opportunists, I'm talking about people like Mbadi, I'm talking about people like Junet Mohammed, people like Malala from Western, yes. people like uh, Babu Owino. Can these people make it to any elective office if Raila Odinga is not in the picture at all, if Raila Odinga does not campaign for any of them, do you think any of them can make it to either parliament or senate or even the gubernatorial? I can't say yes or no, 
But to answer your question, what you call political opportunities, they are all over. We have just had the midterm elections in America, and you can see there are people Trump supported. Yes. If you look at those, especially for the Senate, the people Trump supported, a good number of them won. There are those who ref refused mm -hmm. the, to get any support. Some who even didn't want association with Trump. Yes. Yes. <laughs> And, and he's happy they lost. Mm -hmm. uh, whether that's good or not, I don't know. Mm. So th therefore, in the politics, it is it is it is common play. It is common that the people uh, really operate under the shadows of greater politicians. It, it happens everywhere in the world. I've just given an example of the midterms in America. So there's nothing strange in Kenya if some people get elected in Central because of as associations with the whole Kenya. Or if some people get elected in Nyanza because they are perceived to be close to to, 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 to. It's normal everywhere in the world. However, as to whether or not people like Junaid Mohammed could disappear just because Raila is not on the ballot, that's, that's difficult to tell. Yes, that was you, the you cannot, you, can, you, you cannot, you cannot say. So in your opinion? For one, for one it is difficult to wish away Raila in, from rural Nyanza, from Nyanza politics. Whether he's on the ballot or not, mm -hmm. he'll still play a key role. He'll still be an influential figure. Secondly, you may be thinking somebody is operating under somebody's shadows, like Junette Mohammed, my friend Buddy. But then you could also be wrong. They could be their own men, but they are only being intelligent enough and realistic enough to know that while Raila is around, it is dangerous and suicidal to be seen either to go against him or to try to show you are independent. But if Raila is not there, they would shock you. They could shock you. They could spring from the shadows and you see they are really men. <laughs> what do you think? I think uh, what I'll say, I'll just start from a genesis of uh, Kibaki. Yes. Kibaki used to be the president. Mm -hmm. And there are some people who used to be behind him. Mm -hmm. And the Michukis. When, yeah, yeah, the Michukis and the rest. Mm -hmm. When he went out from the limelight, some of the people survived. Yes. And some didn't survive. Like Karua? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's something normal everywhere mm -hmm. that you have to be. And sometimes there are some people you can't run away from based on ethnic ethnic affiliations. Mm -hmm. Like for example, you know that uh, Raila is still strong in the Luo Yes. So the, the, the moment you purport to show mm -hmm. that you are intending to go against him, mm -hmm. then definitely you will lose. And what Prof has said, mm -hmm. there is no way, mm -hmm. even if Raila is in the ballot or not, mm -hmm. you can't wash him away. That he is not now influential. He will play a the key other role, day, maybe from behind curtains. The other yet. day, yeah. if you say Raila, I agree. In larger part of Nyanza, he is the kingpin. And even Western region. I agree. But the other day, Deputy President William Ruto was there. And uh, he was there with, uh, Obado. with uh, Obado. Yeah. And actually, you saw the crowd. I know Prof is going to say that it is because of the deputy president. No, no, no. The, 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 now, hold on a minute. Yes. That, what does that signpost, that crowd that was there? Because we didn't expect, it seems like uh, Obado is the kingpin in the south. Listen. And Prof, as I come to you, yes. as you finish, yeah. Prof, as I come to you, prepare to tell me, to answer me genuinely. Suppose Mbadi was out there, during the by-election of Migori. Would Ochilo Ayako have won that seat? What were you saying? Let me, let me answer the first phase of the question. Mm -hmm. About the, 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 the crowd that was there during the DP's visit in Migori. Uh, one thing I know, DP has, for a long time, DP has never gone to Migori, or the, the larger Nyanza region. I remember there was a time Uru was visiting uh, Homer Bay. And uh, the likes of Otieno Kanini, Moses Kajuang, mm -hmm. gave sanctions that uh, if President, you, are, you want to come to Luo Nyanza, make sure you don't come with the DP. They've been, they've, they've been having bad blood with the DP. Yes. Now, what has brought all these things that we are seeing mm -hmm. is the spirit of handshake. I remember recently Moses Kuria saying that since he was born, he has mm -hmm. never stepped in Kisumu. But because of the handshake, three months ago, he was in Kisumu. Uh, but the answer, the answer Listen, was not between but the DP and... Uh, that is, that is uh, where I'm coming to. Yes, where I'm coming to. Mm -hmm. Recently you had, uh, during the burial of uh, Kalonzo's father, mm -hmm. Waititu was saying that he has never imagined that at one point he will sit even next to Raila. Mm -hmm. 
but the handshake has made that spirit uh, the, the spirit of the handshake has made that thing possible possible yeah so what i'm trying to <clears throat> put across is that with the spirit of the handshake yes that bad mentality bad notion bad blood is now almost going so you think off. all that crowd that was there was because of the spirit it of is the, the handshake spirit. it's the spirit too and not because they are supporters of either obado or dp they can be supporters of obado but not the dp what i'm trying to say is that eh? yes i've said that for a long time mm -hmm. dp has never gone to nyanza yes so the, the, no, he is in kisi is a regular kisi. i mean lo nyanza kisi and lo nyanza, oh, nyanza, nyanza. nyanza in particular mm -hmm. there are some people maybe sees the dp on tv on tv never see him physically so they went to see him yeah it's possible it's possible the, the excitement <laughs> no 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 i don't two. think it's uh, two. Yes. there is this mentality that people are creating that obado is strong maybe he wants to oppose Rene. no but if, he is he is strong yes if obado was very strong yes. why did he come uh, from pdp to odm if he was very sure that no, even no, no, if no. i don't support baba, baba did not want to be disgraced the second time because obado would have, would have won still obado would have wouldn't have won but, but up, what what made that him one, force you know obado forced to get the ticket that one him. i gave it to baba because he knew mm. that if if this man shames me for the second time mm. it is not good for me that is why i i am sure he, he reached out to obado and asked him prof yes. would ochilo yako have won the migori by election if obado was a free man because we remember he was he was in prison and even when he was in prison he released an audio instructing people to vote wisely i don't know i'm not a prophet i'm not a magician i don't know you run away from uh, you but, I, but what, what, I, what, what i can say <laughs> what i can say uh. is that if obado i mean had obado been around in migori during the by election yes uh, 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 be sincere, it's okay. Be sincere. Something else perhaps could have happened. I think Ochilo Ayako oh. could have lost. That's what I think. <laughs> for the first time, <laughs> I, for the first time you agree with me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, <coughs> until next time, my name is Banana Peddler. See you again. <laughs>